Hello rail fans, welcome to part three of building a Titan Train six foot flat car. Uh, in this portion, we are going to focus on installing the stake pockets on the side of the cars. Um, now I have already done the other side of the car body, uh, so this will be finishing up the last side. A couple of things to point out, I did go ahead and install the grab rails. Um, there's a couple of nuts on the front side and the back side. Set that alignment, make sure the gap in between is nice and even all the way across. Very simple there. Also, I installed the steps. There are two button head cap screws there, 632, with lock nuts on the back holding those steps on. Moving forward to the stake pockets, there are a couple of things here. I notice these have a, uh, a bit of a smell to them. I don't think they're lead. I believe they're probably a white metal or pot metal. Um, they're definitely not cast aluminum because they are flexible and in fact you do need to bend these a little bit uh, with the alignment of the holes on the cars. These are a touch narrow as they come out of the bag. Um, I'm assuming that after these are cast and they cool down they kind of shrink and get a little bit narrower and all it takes is a little bit of a bend there to line them up. Um, so if I do it on this one here get a little bit not too much that's probably too much perfect it'll line up with the holes on the car ready to install the fasteners now actually before I install the fasteners there's a couple of things I uh, realized on this Titan has already tapped the holes for all of these stake pockets on the car so that's very nice you don't need to bother with a uh, I believe it was a 440 tap uh, for the thread size on these machine screws so you don't have to worry about getting that tap however if we take a look here the top screws um, go through this plate here not a problem um, what I'm trying to say here is that these screws are, are, are a quarter of an inch long the metal on the car body is an eighth of an inch and the side of the coupler pocket is less than an eighth of an inch maybe a hundred thousandths there in thickness so the screws uh, stick through the side of the car body a little bit. That's all fine on these top set of holes, but when it comes to the bottom set, there's this aluminum angle here that doesn't have holes in it. So um, I'll have to drill some holes so the, the heads of those screws have somewhere to go through without interfering. So let me grab my cordless drill. It is cordless. Um, if you're on a construction site and somebody asks for a cordless drill and you hand them one of these, I'll guarantee you'll get some interesting uh, looks back coming at your way. Um, nevertheless, these old to tools can be a joy to use and actually I've snapped less of these fine drill bits using this tool than a uh, modern power tool. If you didn't know, um, these old handheld drills, typically the end of the handle screws off and these should be full with a variety of uh, old school drill bits for these. Now something to take, consider if you're using one of these is to make sure that you are cranking the handle the correct direction. In this case that would be clockwise so that the drill bit at the end rotates clockwise. They only cut in one direction so that's something you have to be aware of while using. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and cut these or drill these holes in here. Part of the side effects of doing these uh, projects later in the evening when I probably should be in bed is uh, tripping up on my words. I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure there. I'm not in a rush. And it's just aluminum. There we go, we're all the way through. Now if this is just a number 44 drill bit, so it is pretty thin. So you do have to give some attention for not snapping off this drill bit. And with a little luck, I don't push this all the way through and put a gouge in the top of this table. That's not the conversation starter I want come uh, family Christmas party. But it happens. 
And there it goes. Run that back and forth a little bit just to make sure those holes are clean. Unlike an actual railroad, I'm going to clean up after myself here. Get some of those metal shavings out of there before they wander their way all the way across the table. Get four of these screws out, hopefully not lose them before they are installed. I believe this is the right size, yep, right size Allen key for that. Um, now with these, the thread sticking out a little bit longer into that angle, uh, aluminum angle, the, the, the amount that it sticks out is so small, I haven't had a problem um, with being concerned and retapping these holes. They seem to go in just fine. Now with the stake pockets, there is a right side up and down. If you find that the stake pocket is sticking up higher than the car, just flip it over, check where your holes line up. So um, where the holes are drilled in, on the stake pocket, they are offset a little bit. They're not directly lined up through the center. Also, while looking at the back of it here, hopefully you're close enough you can see that. Um, the backside from Titans is ground flat. I'm assuming they took a uh, sanding wheel and just faced that surface off there. Let's go ahead and install this. Check which way is right side up. Nope, had it right the first time, actually. That doesn't happen often. Get one started. And I'll just do this one on camera. I won't bore you with uh, doing every one of them down the side of this car here. Overall, the car has been uh, going together exceedingly well and very fast. I cannot believe uh, how quickly this project has gone together. Hopefully, I have the same amount of luck when it comes time to do paint and decals on it. Now, you may have noticed I'm wearing an uh, external microphone here, so hopefully... Uh, this works out and the audio quality is just that much better for the video. I am definitely not a professional filmmaker by any means. I just do this as a hobby. And uh, well, if you don't like it, it was free. so. So be it. Although I, like I said, I do try to make these videos nice and enjoyable to watch. These don't need to be incredibly tight. They're not uh, holding on a whole lot. And the threads are just an aluminum and uh, I believe I said that's a 632, uh, excuse me, a 440 thread. So that's uh, pretty thin and it doesn't hold a whole lot of torque, again, especially in aluminum. So there is one of these stake pockets done. There's just, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six on the side of the car. So five more, this will be done. Uh, thank you for joining on the video here. I'll give you a close up of the stake pocket here, just for curiosity's sake. If you haven't seen the other parts of this build series, I encourage you to check those out. And if you don't want to miss them, you can also consider subscribing as well. Um, if you've learned anything from this video or, or found it useful in any manner, please feel free to uh, press that like button. It helps me out and uh, supports the channel and keeps me motivated to continue to do uh, videos like this. So thank you very much. You all have a great day.